Hello and uh, welcome to Urban News. Today I'm at the uh, in Dubai International Airport awaiting my flight and I am here at the lounge, in the first class lounge having lunch. I uh, would like to make this video to ask your advice and at first I would like to thank the people who took the time to write to me. I receive hundreds of messages of people some asking me to give the name of the shop that sold me the fake humidor. Uh, some people telling me that I should accept the offers. Uh, I would like to, to thank Kirby, uh, who sent me a message. Like, and I received many messages like his, saying you should take the money. So I'm going to tell you what I think. And I would like to do a poll and see what you guys think. And what would you do if you were in my shoes? I wanted the shop to give me a real box of Magistoso. Go and buy me an, a real box of Magistoso. Because that's what I bought. I have a ticket saying that I bought a humidor of 20 Magistrosos. And, <clears throat> or I wanted the money back, and enough money to buy one on the market and there are some for sale at the moment in London. The shop has offered me on the last move they made they offered me to pay twice the money I paid which is twice which is fifteen thousand dollars instead of seven and a half thousand dollars and that would compensate for the box and uh, the lawyer's fees and the, the time and money I spent to go to Cuba. So my question is, would you accept this deal? And my position is very simple. Why would I give them the box back knowing that they're going to sell it back? I said I will take the 15000 only to put an end to this thing, but only if you destroy the box or if I destroy the box or if the distributor destroys the box as a gesture against the fake market but the shop still is saying that I'm lying that the box is not fake and of course what they're gonna do once they get the box it's gonna be, they are gonna sell the humido back all the sticks or send it to another shop that's going to sell it and do it for you and it's a never-ending story so this is my position I don't want this box to be sold again and I, I'm happy to take the money that they offered but I want this box to be destroyed and I want people and I want them to recognize that the box is fake. So my question is what would you do if you were in my shoes? Would you take the 15,000 and just take the risk and accept the fact that somebody else will be ripped off? Or would you, like me, keep the box? And of course don't get the money, but be sure that it's not going to be sold again. Okay, this is an ethical question, by the way. And if you need more, if you need really money desperately, then you can accept to go against the ethics. But I have moral issues here, and I, I don't see myself able to accept the deal, run away with my values, what I've been taught, my military background. I cannot accept to squeeze those moral issues just to take the money. So I have had it, a poll asking you guys whether what you would do in my shoes. Would you take the money or would you stick to your principles? The question of course, what would I do with the box if I don't accept the money? Very simple, I am talking to different uh, people, I'm seeking advice. What would you do with the money? Uh, sorry, 
what would you do for the box afterwards if the deal is not um, suitable for you there are many possibilities i can uh, i can offer it to the uh, cigar museum in cuba i'm sure they would be delighted to have an example of the one of the most expensive fakes on the market that would be something interesting uh, for them to own i will contact them maybe they are interested especially if the, the shop doesn't come back up to me with a better offer uh, so let me know also what would you do with the box if you were me and you don't settle you don't accept the offer from the shop any idea is welcome thank you very much and goodbye